Hey buddy, today I find myself in Jasper, Alberta. Great little town, you gotta get out here, man. Tons of shops, tons of people walking around from all over the world. Where I stayed last night, Whistler's Inn. Amazing rates, amazing rooms, amazing service. We got out of town last night pretty late, it's about 2.30, 3 a.m. I was up at seven, so I only got about four hours of sleep or so, but I feel like refreshed. That's, the bed makes a huge difference and it was amazing. I'm gonna go check out some more of this town. There's lots to do, lots to see. Oh my goodness, I finally made it to Jasper, woohoo! And uh, JDS just woke up in Whistler's. This is Nat's town, we're gonna hook up with Nat today. She's gonna run the show today. Let's enjoy it. All right, peace out, buddy. We're gonna go see Jacques at uh, the hostel. They opened that up about uh, six months ago and it's the only and first hostel in Jasper at the moment. Uh, sleeps about 100 people, maybe less. Uh, bringing all the, the people who can afford, you know, the people that don't make as much money who, who wanna come and vacation here, they can afford it. Let's go grab them, kidnap them and get an interview. And he's originally from Jasper himself? No, he's from out east. Uh, some, I think he's from Quebec. Okay, looking forward to it. Hey! Buddy! Hey! Buddy! Hi Jacques, how are you? Good Natalie, nice to see you. Good to see you as well. How long have you been in Jasper and what year did you come here? came to Jasper in 1982 for a quick visit, visiting friends that were here while I was in Calgary trying to get a job. Back in 84, I decided to come and visit them again and never left. Nice. And what made you want to stay here? You don't need a car because you're in a small town and you make friends fairly very easy here. What was your favorite part about being outdoors in Jasper, Alberta? Mountain bike just came out in 84 and that's when I was here so I ended up buying a mountain bike and following friends. And that was fun, that was really fun. When you get to explore the, the mountains on a mountain bike for the first time, phenomenal, it's good. It's a beautiful place to live. If I may say, it's one of the best 10 places in Canada to live. Jasper, as you all know, is a national park. and It has quite a bit to offer. It's great for family, you know, an escape into the wilderness. It has over 200 miles of hikes, trails, cycling, rafting, boating, fishing, you name it. So it is a really trendy town. I like hiking. I like scrambling mountains. You do the summits and you always have a beautiful view, a perfect view. It's pictureless, you know. You, you, you don't have enough pictures on your cameras to describe Jasper. Good, and uh, was it quite a hippie town back in the 80s? I just missed when I got here in 84 what they call a free camp. There was a lot of uh, hippies. In a sense, living just outside the near the river, but they're no longer existing. And there's also a lot of wildlife in Jasper. We have a lot of grizzlies and elk and moose and deer. Have you ever heard about any, you know, grizzly attacks or anybody, you know, encountering the wildlife here? Every year, I mean, every year you're in nature. Obviously, somehow someone, someone will come across the path of a, a grizzly or elk being charging them because mainly we're in there territory. We're in their habitat, so yes, it does happen once in a while. But... 